Hey friends, it's Liz, your official craft nerd, and today I have seven shabby chic everyday home decor DIYs coming your way. So for my first project, I am using this candlestick that I got from the Goodwill, and I'm going to give it a couple of coats of one of my favorite uh, paints to use, which is Rust-Oleum's chalk paint and chiffon cream. I thought it was very, very beautiful on this candlestick. And really, after two coats of this, there was this beautiful tint that the candlestick itself and the paint kind of created. And it was almost like a rose color, very light pink color. I, it's hard to explain, but it was absolutely beautiful. Um, and then I went ahead and took just some sandpaper and roughed up those little details on the candlestick so they would shine through. And this was really the only distressing that I'm doing on this, you guys. And I know you're shocked, but I wanted to kind of keep it a little bit simpler this time around. So I'm taking this jar from Dollar Tree as well, and I am going to glue it right down on top of my candlestick and it fit perfect. And really just for long term, I'm going to use some of this uh, super glue adhesive and then some hot glue just to get it down short, you know, quickly, short term, whatever you want to say. And uh, it, like I said, it fit perfect on this candlestick. Then I'm going to go and take this basket that's all from, also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm basically just wrapping some of this repurposed fabric. I had this on something else, tore it off and decided it would work great for my lampshade cover. And you guys, there's no rhyme or reason to this. I just kind of chopped it up and basically I'm going through and just folding it over on the inside of this and gluing it down. I didn't want it to look perfect or straight or anything like I wanted it messy. I wanted it shabby because that's just, that's my aesthetic. That's what I love. So once it was completely uh, glued down, I was just kind of testing it out, seeing what I wanted to do and decided to glue it down onto the top of the lid. So real quick, guys, I wanted to tell you this is a collab with these beautiful ladies here. I was very, very much honored to be a part of this special get together today. And the playlist is going to be linked down below. So please go and check each and every one of them out. So once I put my lampshade up, I knew that it needed to have more because this is shabby chic, you guys. There is never too much anything. <laughs> so I had some of this fringe lying around and I decided it would be perfect for the bottom of this lampshade. So I just took a strip of this white fringe and like you can see here, just gluing it around the bottom. Uh, and then I decided it also needed some ribbon. So I'm taking this um, lace ribbon that I've had from uh, Hobby Lobby and I'm just going around the edges of my lampshade itself. Then of course I've got to add my beautiful little floral flowers that I get from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just added just a few pieces of this white lace ribbon, some of those floral flowers and just kind of, you know, added just that little extra something something to this lampshade. And you guys, I absolutely adored how this turned out. You'll have to tell me what you think about this below. I wish I would have shown um, a video or a picture of this with a little LED light that I put in the uh, jar itself because that is definitely something that you guys can do and actually make this light up. But with it just by itself, I think it is still absolutely beautiful and just perfect to put up in my bedroom with all of my other vintagey shabby chic type style decor pieces okay so for this second project i am using this sign that i got from dollar tree last summer i believe uh, and i thought this would make a really cute a wall piece and so again I'm taking some of that Rust-Oleum chiffon cream and I'm going to give this sign a coat. Now I do think I actually gave it two coats which really wasn't really necessary because we're going to decoupage this a pretty good 
but I just, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> so I did give it two coats. And again, it's such a beautiful color. I did not mind. I love this color so much. So these are some napkins that I ordered off Amazon. I was looking for a very vintage type print and really fell in love with this particular one. So, and if you guys don't already know, I am an Amazon affiliate and I do like to link any products and tools that I use down in my description boxes. So that way, if you're looking for them or interested in purchasing some of the things that I use, you can definitely find it down below and get some for yourself. Now I just printed out some script handwriting letter. I don't even know what I Googled when I found this, but I uh, printed that out and then I just used one sheet and I'm going to just decoupage this down using my plaid Mod Podge, which I absolutely love plaid products. Uh, but Mod Podge is probably my favorite thing to use lately, which is kind of crazy. I was never really a big fan <laughs> until recently, but um, I'm honestly loving this. And it's so simple to use and there's really no way to mess this up you guys I know um, bubbles and and crinkles and wrinkles and stuff may bother some people but they absolutely do not bother me I think it just adds to the effect of the project I'm working on so while I'm doing this guys I want to take the time to tell you I am on Instagram at official craft nerd and you can also follow me on Pinterest if you're not already subscribed to my channel here I hope you do and just come by and say hey and now let's get back into it <laughs> always got to do the selfless promotion stuff you know how that goes but what I'm doing is I'm still continuing to add on these pieces of the napkin and like I said before you guys crinkles and bubbles may bother some people they absolutely do not bother me with these types of projects I definitely love how they add texture and just more depth to what I'm working on now, here I'm using some of this ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm making a very simple bow. Um, very, very simple. Just tied it in the middle there. And it's a wired ribbon, so I love this because it definitely helps uh, with keeping the shape of the bow and having it just look exactly the way that I wanted to. I also decided that I wanted to have a lot of kind of strands of fabric and ribbon just kind of flowing off of this from underneath the bow. And so I'm taking a lot of these different styles of ribbons and laces and things like that that I have. And you guys, I find this stuff at Hobby Lobby. I wait until the his and hers section, which is in the wedding section, and also their ribbon section itself. When they go on sale, I go and stock up because they always go on sale for 50% off. So I always go get doubles and I love, love, love these ribbons. So if you're into the shabby chic look, if this is stuff that you like to decorate your home with and you're looking for these types of materials, always check out Hobby Lobby. I promise you guys will find some really great stuff there. Now, all I'm doing now is after I've got all my different layers is I'm just going to start gluing them down and you can kind of just go back and forth uh, with the different, you know, styles of ribbon and textures and this is again something that I love to do and why I love the shabby she look so much because you don't have to have the same textures and fabrics like I love the mixture I love the different details and the different colors and styles it's definitely very eclectic and I feel like that is so my aesthetic once I feel like I've had enough of the different fabrics and ribbons and stuff, I go ahead and just place that bow that I made down on the very top of this and just kind of fluff it up a little bit. Now, you know, I know that this is not done yet. So I'm taking some of these wood raw flowers that I got from Sola and I'm just going to glue some of these down right. One of them, nice big one right down in the middle of this bow. And then I'm going to take a couple of the little baby ones as well and just kind of fill in some of those gaps up at the top. So I thought I was going to get away from this this time around, but nope. I am bringing my antique wax back, you guys. I have got to distress this sign up just a little bit more. And basically, I'm just like I always do. I kind of go out the outside edges and then wipe it down 
just so it's not too strong and then kind of go over all of what I've decoupaged just giving it a little bit of extra grit and you guys the final project I'm in love with this I love these types of pieces and yes I decorate my home with these I hang them up and I feel like these are good for all year round every day and they're just so easy and fun to make So my next project, I am using this mirror that I got from the 99 cent store. And this, I'm giving it a coat of uh, that chiffon cream that I love from Rust-Oleum uh, because this was just too white. I didn't want it to be so super bright white. So I went ahead and coated this up a couple, uh, coated this up a couple. I gave it a couple of coats. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, you guys. Anyway, this project, I will tell you, I did mess up and it was very frustrating. So, so frustrating. Uh, I did save it, but, you know, I really wish what my first vision would have come to fruition because I really, really liked it. But, you know, sometimes that happens. Your projects don't turn out the way that you want. So. In any case, what I was doing is I had this beautiful paper that I also have ordered from Amazon uh, with this antique vintage roses and all of that. And I love, love, love them. And I decided I wanted to keep this mirror because I was going to put it back in the frame. However, I wanted to put this beautiful print on the back end. And that way I could have this photo, you know, coming through this frame and you know, if I ever wanted to flip it around and put the mirror back, then, you know, I could, whatever. But I went ahead and I decoupaged this down. And you guys, look how beautiful that is. I absolutely love this image. And uh, I'm telling you, I'm so heartbroken. So in the process of putting this, trying to put this back in, as you can see that craziness right there. Uh, <laughs> you guys, the mirror broke. And it broke in half and I could not get it to go back into place and I was devastated. <laughs> so I didn't want to scrap this project. I really wanted to still do something with it. So I went back to this fabric that I still had lying around and I decided I'm going to just cover this hole up with the fabric. And it's still, you guys, this still worked out. I still really think this is beautiful. And I did not throw away the mirror. I still have the broken mirror. Now, I feel like I'm going to do something with that, but I'm not sure yet with what. But <laughs> stay tuned, I'll tell you. Um, so really, all I did here, as you saw, was I just kind of tightened it and glued it around the edges. And that was it. And see, I still think this is very, very cute. I think it still works out really well. And it matches everything else that I'm doing. So... Uh, taking some of the antique wax, I did go ahead and distress this because I wanted all those little details to kind of pop and show through and it really just works with this frame. So of course, adding some more detail to this, I wanted to make a um, kind of a scrappy bow to put up at the top of this uh picture frame and I'm using some strips of linen that I had uh, and you'll see it in another project that I I've done on this video uh, but this linen is so awesome to use I'm in love with it and um, I purchased this off Amazon as well uh, so I'll link that for you too but I'm just making a scrappy bow and this is I left this in there so you can kind of see it's so simple just back and forth with different strips and then I took that fabric flower also from Hobby Lobby and just put it right in the middle and it just worked out beautifully. Now I had some of these keys that I believe I ordered these off Amazon a long time ago and um, they're just these old brass keys and I thought they would work perfect for this project. And I took some thin strips of the linen and I'm just kind of tying them around the keys. And then basically all I'm gonna do is take these two uh, keys that are hanging and I'm going to glue them to the top of my frame. Then I'm going to take my scrappy bow 
and just glue it over top just like so. And you guys, that's it. This was one of my favorites. It's definitely not what I first envisioned, but I fell in love with it when it was all said and done. I think it's beautiful and I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about this one down below. Okay, so for project four, this is where I'm using that linen. Now I bought this, like I said, off of Amazon and it, it's huge. It's a great amount. So I'm going to be set for a while, but I also am using this ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. I have had it around for quite some time. So um, I thought that would work perfect for this as well. And this linen fabric that I have, I'm just cutting some strips off of each of the different colors. There were three... I believe three different colors of this. There was kind of a darker, um, yeah, darker medium and then a light colored uh, version of this linen. And I love working with linen. I think it frays beautifully, uh, but it, it's also just very rustic and vintage and everything that I'm about. So <laughs> uh, all I'm doing is cutting strips here. And what we're doing with this is basically making just a banner and if you guys have ever done fabric banners uh, before or fabric garlands they're really really easy to do you just kind of loop um, you know you fold over your piece of fabric and you kind of loop it through uh, whatever you're putting it around now with this I'm using this ribbon and there's actually like little gaps in between and I'm just kind of looping through those little gaps and then sticking the ends of the fabric up through the loop and pulling it through and it just kind of does this little quick tie thing and it just it works out so beautifully uh it's hard to explain how it's doing so i'm hoping you guys can see it how i'm kind of looping it through there and just tightening it up and that's all there is to making a fabric you know type banner or garland and i've made quite a bit of these you know, for different things in the past, but I really love the idea of having my own, you know, kind of shabby chic looking one, you know, with this linen. And I love, as you can see, you see how the edges are just fraying out. I love this. So I also wanted to add little bits of color. And so I'm taking some of this pink ribbon. Now this pink ribbon I found at uh, the Dollar Tree. So I use some of the pink ribbon and then I also had some of this white lace ribbon, which I got that from Hobby Lobby. I put that in there. And this fabric lace is also from Hobby Lobby as well. And I love, love, love. That's like a vintage rose color, I believe it was. Dusty Rose. Oh, it is one of my favorite, favorite ribbons of all time. It's so beautiful. And you guys, that's all I did with this. This is so simple. This doesn't take long to do at all, depending on how big of a garland that you wanted to make. All it is, is just the looping through and tightening. And that's it. There is no hot glue. There is no sewing. There's nothing uh, extra hard about this at all. So I think you can do this in any way, shape or form that you like. You can use any kind of fabrics, any kind of ribbons. And it would be so beautiful. And here is the garland just hanging, you guys. Oh, I love this so much. I really wish I would have made it even longer. I think it's beautiful. I don't have a fireplace, but if I did, that's definitely where this would be hanging. What do you guys think about this one? Okay, guys, this is a really easy, quick project to do. I'm taking one of those keys that I used before, and I am going to grit it up. Now, this is grit paste that is a Tim Holtz product. And basically, all it is is, is kind of like a, you know, like a glue paste, but it's it's got texture to it. It's very gritty and... I just, you, all you have to do is just add it to anything and it'll just give you that texture. And it's, it's amazing. I love this stuff. So I wanted to grit up this key. I wanted it to look a little bit older, obviously, and, you know, just kind of worn and it's, it's 
I can't express to you guys how much this stuff is amazing. <laughs> and I know it sounds redundant because I keep saying it, but I've used this grit paste on so many different projects in the past and it is just amazing the effect that it has on things that you put it on. So after that is dry, I am just going to take different strands of different materials. So I'm using twine, I'm using different kinds of ribbon, uh, and then I'm going to basically just start threading these through the ends of my key. And I want it to just kind of create this beautiful tail. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything perfect. And really, it's not a big key. I wish I had some bigger keys because I could have added a lot more to it. So I'm really cutting a lot more fabric than was needed for this because I couldn't add it all to it. But uh, once I had it all you know, cut and ready to go. All I did was tie it to the end of the key. That's all you have to do for this, guys. It will make the cutest, most adorable, rustic looking uh, decor accent piece ever. And I just finished it up with adding some antique wax to the key over top of that grit paste. And you guys, this thing is so stinking cute. Look at this key. Look how beautiful that is with that grit paste and the ribbon. I love it. Okay, for the sixth project, this is actually super easy too. And I'm really happy. I've got a lot of extra projects in this video for you guys. This has been fun. So this easy peasy. I am taking some of these little tiny terracotta pods that come in a two pack from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using again my chiffon cream by Rust-Oleum and giving each of these one coat. When I tell you that this terracotta pots take that paint so well, it's no joke. Uh, so once those are dry, I'm taking some of this tissue paper. Now I got this tissue paper from Hobby Lobby uh, in their party section and I'm just going to real easy Mod Podge, just different bits and pieces of this paper on to these pots. That's it, you guys. I just wanted this kind of, um, I don't know if it's more of a like French shabby chic or French country type look, but I just loved how these turned out. And it is so simple. Like you can use any kind of tissue paper or print I mean you can print something out that you love and put that on there you can use those flower papers and put that on there I mean whatever it is just decoupage on these little flower pots are just so much fun to do and so you can make for any kind of holiday any season whatever like I just absolutely love doing this and this was super affordable super easy to do So of course I just topped the uh, flower pots off, I guess, with just some ribbon. And that's all she wrote for this project, you guys. Like, so, so easy to do. And now you can of course add plants or flowers or whatever you want in there. I left these empty, but I think they are adorable and so, so cute. Okay guys, so for my last project, project number seven, I am taking some books and yes, these books have no covers. They're, they're kind of beat up. They were already really damaged books to begin with. Uh, so I wanted to give them new life. And so I just took the covers off of them and basically I'm taking some of that leftover uh, canvas that I have from any time I rip off canvases, you know, from Dollar Tree or wherever. And I'm just kind of folding them over these books, kind of giving them like a makeshift cover. Basically because I do want to paint them and give it a little life. And of course, this kind of paint on paper, it'll make that paper bend and fold and crinkle. And it was just easier to have it on that uh, canvas. I'm taking this little book and I'm just going to glue it down on top of the larger book. Again, this is because this is going to be a decor piece. It's going to sit up. Nobody's reading these books. Uh, I didn't want to throw them away, so I wanted to try to give them new life uh, as something that I will actually use them for in my home. So uh, I took the top book and I covered it with another piece of that canvas as well as painting it in the chiffon cream. 
and gluing it on top. Then of course, I just want to add a little bit of detail and I'm going to wrap twine around all three of these books and just wrap it around quite a few times and then glue it down uh, on the back of these books. Then I'm going to take some of the ribbons, the multiple ribbons that I have lying around, and I'm just going to kind of glue them around these books. What's fun about this is you can do whatever. Any kind of ribbons, any kind of, you know, way that you want to place these different things down, that's all up to you. You can do it however you want. Um, this was just kind of the flow that I went with, and it worked perfect for what I wanted to do. Uh, taking some of these paper flowers and some more ribbon, I just went ahead and created some little decals on the side as well as just stuck in some of these really cute little uh, flower picks also from Hobby Lobby right on top of the, you know, the middle of these books. That was it. Super quick, super easy, and it gave new life to these books that I did not really want to throw away, but they were already damaged, you know, and I just wanted to give them new life. So that was it. You guys, I really, really appreciate it if you have stuck around for this whole video. I know it is a little longer than I normally do, but there was so many good projects to show you guys today. So I really, really hope that you have enjoyed every single one of these. You'll have to tell me what your favorite is down below. And you guys, if you're new here and you're coming from another channel, say hi. I'm so looking forward to meeting you all. And I really hope you stick around and subscribe. And if you are already a follower and you're back, you guys, I appreciate y'all so, so much. You know that. And really, I just hope you enjoy everybody's videos that are in this collab today. Each and every one of these ladies are uh, absolutely amazing. You are going to love what they come up with. So until next time, you guys, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Take care of yourselves and stay safe.